So we got this box with uh, some good garden homestead farm work boots from Cow Cow and they're supposed to be a good fit, maybe not sweat so much. So, so let's check them out. Does that mean they'd be like mud proof and jello proof and they should be mud proof and jello proof, yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this unboxing. Um, so that you can see how the packaging was that uh, I'm assuming this is the way they're gonna be shipped all the time because um, This is the way they were shipped to me to... And there's their logo there's the cow cow logo so outside the gray wrapping is the actual box now this is the way that it, it came that the box is a bit in it probably from you know being shipped in a truck or whatever full of like, like how do you get in that <laughs> okay all right so looks like there's a dust tissue paper to keep it uh oh wow look at that they look very uh they look sturdy they they look it's kind of um it's what does this feel like does it it's a textured rubber. Okay. Um, or some sort of rubber oh, plastic. I like those grips. Very stylish. Look at that. Really, yeah, really awesome. You're not going to be dancing with, with these treads. You're not going to be slipping. And they're really soft up at the top. It's like a foam field. Oh, yeah. They're going to be kind of comfortable. So, so that would be comfortable on your upper cow or lower calves. This actually looks like from here maybe snow boots. So this, I think, is to keep them from losing shape while they're in packaging and getting all squished up. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway. All right. Check out the soles. They look, One more time? Uh, no, 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 no. Like the, maybe the seams, the glue. Well, I mean, it don't look like it's bonded completely, but that might not... It might not matter. It might if it's not waterproof. supposed to be that way. Right. Maybe. Well, I mean, the waterproof is probably between this and that. It's probably a solid boot underneath the tread. Okay. I would imagine. But, uh, nice, uh, I don't know what this, oh, that's to help you get the boot help off. Help you get the boot off. Oh, yeah. that's, that is a good invention. That is awesome. So you can use your toe of your yeah. boot to. And not scuff them up like you you wow. do so many other boots. Well, you know I don't, I don't think these are fashion statements, <laughs> but these are nice looking boots. That is nice. That's very nice. Size nine, in case anybody wants to send her right. some shoes. Well, I actually wear eight and a half, and they didn't have <laughs> half sizes. It's 27 degrees out here. Um, I had to put some more hay into a, a, a gigantic um, goat house. But anyway, um, I've got a, you can see I've got a little poo on my, <laughs> on the boots here. But it's a little bit damp and wet out there because the frost um, is starting to melt because the sun's coming out. It's uh, quite cold, yet my feet. My feet aren't cold at all. They're not sweating. I feel no sweat in here. And these, they feel, it feels like rubber. I was kind of worried about not watching where I step because, yeah, um, I believe these are fairly good boots. Now when I hose them off or put them in the water, I'm not gonna use a hose because it's too cold out here but I am going to uncover a hydrant and I'm going to run water over these and if it leaks, I'll let you know. Just a sec. Alright, so I deliberately uh, put the water stream over the seams here and my feet are still dry. They're not cold. Steel. And I've been out here now <sighs> barn cat. I've been out here now for maybe 30 minutes, so 
I think they're really good, not just winter boot. I mean, they're kind of heavy if you're just going to be like walking around town or whatever, but they're great for work boots out on the farm. I'm telling you, water tight. Well, okay. The top here is kind of loose and I think you could probably wear like thicker socks. So to sum it up, these cow cow boots, top notch.